I just want to ask the question today, like, why people front so hard like they believe in God and they don't? And as the days go by, I can see more and more. And it's not about y'all, you, you personally, whoever you think you are. It's a list of stuff that we supposed to live our lives off of, right? It's the word of God. Even if it's a phony God, y'all phony believe because <laughs> there's no way it would be this much killing. None of this shit would exist because y'all take um, shit like positions and give them characteristics. Human beings have those traits. Like if you're an evil person, you're an evil person. No matter what I do in life, I'll carry who I am wherever I go, right? Yeah, outside them doors, there's way too much bullshit going on. And most people claim Christianity. And okay, but why is this shit still happening? Y'all could be Christians, but it has nothing to do with God. And I keep saying that. And it's going to keep showing itself now. To even the most stubborn, don't want to go along with it, you're going to be dead-ended soon. You know, like, people can look right at something and want to see something else so bad. <laughs> You think you, you're not going to answer questions? I address the so-called powers that be, right? And I didn't think I could. Like, that's not how we grow up. I'm not going to say blacks. I'm going to say people, period. Because it's a lot of people you call white just as ignorant, you know. And something else about white and racism. Like, white people pay taxes like I pay taxes. So I'm quite sure they don't have all this time just to be sitting back thinking of ways to get over on blacks or this racism. So not liking somebody, you just charge it as that. That's not racism. I don't like a lot of people that's black, and I'm not a racist. And the reason that I don't like them is because of these black traits that they have, things that are synonymous with black people. Some people just don't like that shit, period, right? So most blacks judge what's right or wrong by what white people do or what white people I'll go along with. That's fine if you want to worship a man and think that some man this is this is the part that the God would take right out of the equation. Y'all really on a positions, y'all on a time, you on a pieces of paper that a man like me or you made up. You gonna like you'll ask me to cite my sources. I'm like, I'm the fucking source. Y'all really don't get that shit. You understand, you really don't think you can manifest anything yourself. And you've been taught that, that's been beaten into you, and I don't see it getting up out of you. So the destruction has got to happen. That's a punishment for disobedience. And sooner or later, evil is going to clash with evil. You understand, when the good is quiet, there's nothing going to be left but evil. And it's been that way for a while. So now you're seeing a bunch of stuff happen. And it's looking like it's evil, but it's cleaning itself up. This kid just got his daughter shot and killed. He was gangbanging, you know what I'm saying? And that's the effect of that. You don't get away with shit. Like, oh, you didn't get hit, but your daughter did. Seven-year-old daughter, I bet you want to reconsider your life now, right? He was on Facebook copping pleas about babies, um, wanting to snitch. Now the game changed because somebody he like got killed. It's the same game. That's y'all with the word of God. You'll follow it as long as it benefit what you want it to benefit or your strong suits. When it's something that you struggle with, you're going to turn your back. You're not going to answer questions. I've seen it. But you're not going to get over on me. I don't give a fuck about none of y'all. You know, my house is fortified with the most high. I come here because this is out of, out of honor for the most high, not honor for you. I, I'd rather most high kill everybody. You know what I'm saying? You're really not worthy. And when you read the word it's like i get it but y'all want to brush it away like it don't exist or it's not real it's the only thing that's real everything else y'all made up order is the same the rest of this shit is it's of your mind if 15 people say this guy is the smartest guy they want to give him a degree or whatever then you at the mercy of that that's not of god that's men giving power to men giving reverence to men what I know is what I know. I'll share freely. And the issue with that is y'all won't think I know anything because there's nobody that's backing me. You out of your fucking minds. 
you just sit back and accept shit freely from what you consider credentialed people or whatever establishments, and the truth is running right amongst you. But you can't hear it because you've been taught you've been taught that I'm not credentialed. Do I? <laughs> it's crazy because I can take it to calisthenics to working out and show my body versus one of these personal trainer bodies. More times than not, I'm in better shape than they are. But they got a gazillion followers and got this certification and I dust their ass off and pretty much everything. But you, you take the poison that the media give you and say, no, Ev can't know what the fuck he talking about. You looking right at me. You see me in this book, you hear what I'm saying, but you will go to church. Why would a man want to be a, pr a preacher, a pastor, or a priest? What would make you want to do that? Honestly. The call of God. Get the fuck out of here. You know what the priesthood was for back then? To maintain. To maintain the temple. It was one temple. One. That's why it was so important. The destruction. It wasn't a, a gazillion temples. It was one. And you had to go there no matter where you was from. One. I got a church on every fucking corner. I think y'all doing something. You won't look into it. You scared. You know, your whole life is fake and phony. If you looked into it, follow some shit up. So it's safe for you to be in that pack with the sheep believing that bullshit. But you seeing the COVID situation mask up now. Y'all out here wearing masks. I'm going to keep talking about that too. Y'all see it's not what they say it is. The numbers, all that shit. A whole fucking political coup to do what the fuck they wanted to do now. What changed in your life? Y'all deserve the life that you live because you sitting back thinking somebody else going to fix some shit for you and it's right in your face. It's you don't believe in our creator. And that's going to be showing to be true like in the coming days. You know, it's a seven-year-old girl that just got killed. Y'all think y'all safe? You ain't safe. <laughs> this has been happening forever, man. It's just my turn now. And like the brothers back when they were regular guys, you reading about their story now and y'all act like y'all revere them, right? But guess what, assholes? I would be one of those brothers back then. You know what I'm saying? Wasn't nothing perfect about them. They were actually flawed brothers, but they stood 10 toes down when it was time. They ain't buckle, none of that shit. And they held it down. That's who get picked. Y'all little noodle back ass niggas ain't never gonna get picked for nothing. You'll make up your own, your own awards, your own accolades, because you ain't shit any otherwise. You got to have the most money for people to consider you at all. That's some sad shit, because I'm broke, nigga. Broke as fuck, and there's people that love being around me, love hearing what I'm saying. That's called value. That's not worth. I ain't worth shit, but I got plenty of value. You know what I'm saying? You won't have a single bit of fucking value in you, which you worth net-wise. Money after that's gone, who gonna fuck with you? Nobody. And then when you die, is the creator gonna fuck with you? And you're gonna die, money bags. Can you fucking buy your way out of the casket, the urn, or the, the next realm? Can you? If you can't, what's that fucking money mean? You gonna keep coming up with things and say, look, I'm grand because I can afford this. I'm better than you because I can drive that. Where's that in the scripts at? You see, you see what I did there? I ain't got to honor none of that shit. And if y'all honor it, so what? Get the fuck away from me. I don't know material chasing ass, fake fuck Christians, talking this, talking that. But when it comes to actually doing something that that creator asks us to do, motherfuckers ain't in you. It's Deuteronomy 17, right, y'all? If after you have entered the land that the Lord your God has assigned you and taken possession of it and settled in it, and you decide I will set a king over me, as do all the nations about me. That's where y'all fucked up. Y'all king. Your government. Y'all voting. You shall be free to set a king over yourself. One chosen by the Lord your God. Be sure to set a king over yourself. One of your own people. You must not set a foreigner over you. One who is not your kinsman. You know what your kinsman is? That's people to keep the word of the most high God. So if somebody is governing you and they not of God, what the fuck you think you're going to get? But y'all ain't of God either, so the rulers suit y'all wicked asses. Moreover, where we at? You shall set a king where we at. Moreover, he shall not keep many horses or send people back to Egypt to add to his horses. 
Like not trading his people for goods. This is comprehension. I know that seemed a little crazy to y'all, but yeah, that's the telltale on you. Most of you niggas want to gather, sing, get baptized, march up and down, talk that shit, but it's work to be done. And he shall not have many wives, lest his heart go astray, nor shall he amass silver and gold to excess, all right? When he is seated on his royal throne, he shall have a copy of these teachings written for him on a scroll by the Levitical priest. So any king governing anything has got to be off the word of God. Y'all know what that is? Do you know what the word of God is? If you don't, you have a Bible, right? You know how you're supposed to eat? Do you know what God considered clean eating or are you above that? You can say, no, nah, I'm not going to eat that way, but God, me and him still boys. Your day is coming. The day of the Lord. Oh, woe to him. Y'all don't get it. Maybe, maybe your daughter gets shot and killed. And a McDonald's. I got a daughter too. You understand why I come here every day talking about God, the creator, the way I do. Whatever God is, is fake, don't exist. But what if you do? You willing to gamble with your daughter, your wife, your husband, your son? You willing to take that gamble? Obviously, y'all willing to take it. Ignorantly, I was willing to take it, but knowingly, fuck no. <laughs> Ain't no way. I'm putting Zoe on a crap table whiz no sir no sir so as for me and my family y'all know the rest of that it ain't for cliche it's for real but you christians don't get that but y'all get the foot of the lord in y'all ass and don't even understand it with your diabetic asses your arthritic asses your high blood pressure asses y'all understand how the hand of the lord strike down you know what the pestilence is my grandmother didn't she kept a Bible. When he is seated on his royal throne, he shall have a copy of these teachings written for him on a scroll by the Levitical priest. That's Deuteronomy 17 and 18. Let it remain with him and let him read it all his life so that he may learn to revere the Lord his God and observe faithfully every word of these teachings as well as these laws. So your king, your ruler, has to rule the land based on God. Y'all don't even get that shit. Y'all keep sidebarring, letting man subvert justice, letting him tell you what justice is. Justice is of God. Man can't give you justice. He won't. And for all you people to say, man wrote the book, fuck you. So what? You, you think you're going to get a, a back and forth? Go somewhere and fuck yourself. You go write your book and don't be concerned about righteous people books. Go write your evil shit. Go ahead, run, run along, cocksucker. Go read the art of war. Get your morality out of there. And still fuck your sister. <laughs> because in this book that man wrote for me, it said you can't fuck your sister, bitch ass. So go somewhere and fuck your mother, because it say <laughs> you can't be a motherfucker in this book. So go ahead and disregard this book, you motherfucker, and go suck a dick too. Because in here it say no dick sucking. Biatch, so I guess... You want to do away with the book so you can suck mushroom cap, huh? Any nigga that say this book ain't real, you a dick sucker because that's where no sucking dicks come in. You move, dick sucker. Yeah, I'm that guy in the most. I ain't some fucking Christian pansy that's scared to get dirty with this shit. You call out the Lord, I call you out, bitch. And then you might die, not me, though, because that's, that's the favor that the Lord has. So buck, motherfucker, dance for the devil. <laughs> I play the music for you, DJ that shit. Wicked, 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 whack. Wicked, 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 wicked. You gonna die, bitch. And it don't even have to be a physical death. How would you feel if the thing you love the most got taken away from you? That ain't life, son. Watch y'all step. It's 2021 now. I've been battling this jihad for a minute, and y'all gave all these words dirty names. You Christians are the worst fuckers on the planet. It's just in my spirit right now. Y'all gonna die. Slow deaths, long deaths, short deaths, any kind of death, imagine the most high gonna stretch y'all ass out, compress y'all asses, everything. But you don't identify, right? 
You can't see the sicknesses, your sons, your daughters fucked up. Y'all don't know what the ass whooping look like because you don't know what the, the most high look like because you don't believe in God. You don't. You just been doing this membership shit now. Here I am pressing the fucking issue day in, day out. All y'all can do is get mad because you can't keep up. That's what the most high doing. He's showing you through a dumbass like me that you ain't shit. You a liar. Everything you believed is a lie. Y'all don't have a leg to stand on. When I come through, it's like Omar and Hawaii. That trench coat and that shotgun. I'm going to take all y'all shit. Because the most high want me to. That's it. Again, I don't need a building. No cash app. No money involved at all. Just the payment from my creator with the peace. The prosper. Everything. <laughs> That's it. That's the reward. I'll have a punch in the clock. Work, nigga, work. Until COVID come and say, no more job. Yo, you don't think that's the hands of the Most High? Y'all don't believe in God. Every temptation, good thing, bad thing, he created. The creator, anything that's in the realm that he created is by his hand that's created. There's a lot of things that's used to see where you are. And sitting here with me, like actually becoming familiar with the word, I can see a lot of people ain't shit on the most high. You know, um, you just can't lie when you read the book. Some of y'all I can't have relationships with because y'all are liars. You want to say something else, everybody hate liars, but the only way you can tell what a lie is is through God, right? Anything else don't count. Case in point, um, Deuteronomy 15, I believe. I'm in 17 now. All right, let me finish off 17. 17 and 19, let it remain with him. Let him read it daily all his life so he learns to revere the Lord, his God, to observe faithfully every word of these teachings, right? Thus, he will not act hardly towards his fellows and deviate from the instructions to the right or to the left to the end that he and his descendants may reign long in the midst of Israel. So... Your government, your kings are supposed to give direct justice. Not this way, not that way. Not to subvert it for, let me go back to Deuteronomy 16 and 9, I believe. No, that's not it. Deuteronomy 16. 19, maybe. You, sh you shall not judge unfairly. You shall show no partiality. You shall not take bribes or bribes blind the eyes of the discerning and upset the plea of the just. That's Deuteronomy 16 and 19. See, I use the book, What's Up, Ralph, as a GPS to find my way through life. Y'all don't. Y'all go to church and trust Pastor Jethro to give you some shit out of a Christian manuscript that has nothing to do with day-to-day -day living or order instruction that the Creator gave those people that was called Israel. Y'all put so much emphasis on the wrong shit. Let's talk about Christianity too real quick. I'm gonna go to uh, uh, boo -doo, boo -boo -boo -boo. I'm gonna go to da 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 I'm on Wikipedia, right? I'm at the Crusades, because this is where the shit started at, the Crusades. The Crusades is is a Roman thing, and they created all this Christianity. That's theirs. Has nothing to do with the Hebrew Bible. That's why they said it's a New Testament. You know where a New Testament came in? Right here, Crusades. The Crusades were a series of religious wars initiated, supported, and sometimes directed by the Latin church in the medieval period. The term refers to the Eastern Mediterranean campaigns in the period between 1095, so they say, and 1271. The dates don't have to be right. Look, y'all, I don't believe any dates, nor do I have to, to have an understanding. It's a trick, it's a mechanism, so when they say the dates don't match, you give up shit and say, yeah, the dates don't match. They got a fucking Jesus date. For however, however many years this fake-ass Jesus Live is one before and one after. In between, time stood still. Can y'all take that construct then without just being niggas or dumbass crackers? Can you sit there and, and take that in? So now that's a lie that you live with every day. That's one right there. And 
And most of y'all are not going to be able to take that in and comprehend that. That kills everything about time. You can't clock it. Whoever the leader is, whoever the monarch, the king, the pope, it changed. It counted down, it counted up. And y'all sitting here swearing on time. Shout out to the dumbass debate league, Soul of Mine. Chris Harris, you about a dumb bitch, son. Um, all offense to you. You a whole woman in a man's body. You in a debate league. Like, I see this shit. I stopped watching the debate league because this one cat, Chris Harris. You are a girl. He started off in Torah. I watched this man go from here to there. Dog, I had to address you. You need to get your shit together. You need to stay off the internet. You kind of not built for it. You, you not, dog. You you a whole woman. You, you know what I'm saying? Anyway. I digress. Time. Da -da -da -da, between 1095 and 1271 that had the objective of conquering the Holy Land from Islamic rule. They wanted to, to wipe out the people that kept the order of God. I self, Lord, and Master. And y'all hear me repeatedly say, I keep Torah, the Master myself. That's where the order of creation is. And Islam actually talk about this. You know, it's in the Quran. It's the connection there. Only thing is, they fuck with the, the Jesus part too. You know what I'm saying? So, they were there. They, they understand Abraham. Actually, Ishmael was here before Israel. You know what nation Ishmael founded? You know, Ishmael was the firstborn son. He was 13 and circumcised. Can y'all take that in? Let me do this again for y'all, right? In church, they'll never teach this because it won't line up with whiteness. And by whiteness, it's not a race because there's plenty of Muslims, Islam, that's olive, white, whatever. So, in the Hebrew, and it started with Abraham. He's the one that crossed over, you know, from the other side, either the other side of the river or his ways. Either way, Hebrew is a generic term. It just means to cross over. The promise that the Most High got from Abraham was because he was an upright and just man. Supposedly, but Abraham saw the nakedness of his sister. Doesn't matter if they came from your dad or your mother. They had these are Leviticus 18. Check it out. Now, the thing we do know about Allah, Yah Hashem, is these are the same today, tomorrow, and yesterday. You're not going to get a pass for anything. You won't get the pass. Like, man will try to give Abraham a pass because you favor Abraham and you a fanboy. Listen, with all due respect, fuck Abraham. Abraham was a child then, a fucking pagan. He had to cross over. He needed an order to follow. It wasn't Abraham that wrote it. So, with all due respect, fuck Abraham. Abraham married his sister. Every man of this script had a shortcoming, but y'all won't see past that. You dumb fucks, that's why you can't learn. That's why y'all hand holding with Jesus. You don't get that your hand is the fucking hand that's supposed to be holding hands with the man. Not a hand in between, you ignorant fucks. That's when policy come in. Now you hold my hand, I'm the go-between. You at my mercy, what I tell you. And if your dumb ass don't think that you at my mercy, you won't act like that. You won't be suspicious, so you'll go right along with it. But it's one power source. And you motherfuckers never check it. You don't know how to articulate it. So when I stand in the court of law that's supposed to be governed off the law of God, I'm the victor. It can't go any other way. I just present what the word of God is. You know, you can't subvert justice, no bribes, and can't no witness come against me and say I did anything to him. Everything else is made up. They manifest this charge, that charge, red light cam. This ain't that. This ain't the Roman, Holy Roman Empire that, that conquered Islam. You know, this is not that. This isn't the Crusades. I'm going to stand on the creed and I'm going to win. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And any tongue that contends with you at law, you shall defeat. You ain't going to contend with policy. They made the policy up. You're going to lose every time. It's their policy. They can just add another line to a policy. God's word is absolute. Hasn't changed. Don't need to change. That's the equity in it. 
don't matter that now you have a Mercedes Benz. It's the same law for a Benz that it is for a chariot. You can't run a motherfucker over in it. You don't, well, it's a Benz, so no, fuck your Benz, nigga. The word of the creator is it, concrete. You adding that sidebar shit. Well, if you go too fast, you owe us money. I'm not paying the king shit. The most I didn't say that. And you supposed to rule up oh, one nation under God. How about that? Then when you go to the courtroom, guess what you swear on? So guess why I don't pay taxes? Fuck a king. I didn't vote for you, bitch. I have a king, the most high. Go against him, king. Come at me. And you coming at the most high. You don't have to like my attitude. You don't have to like my swag, my mojo, the way I talk. I don't give a fuck. I don't like yours either. But I ain't transgress you bitches or say y'all can't do anything. And y'all wicked. You niggas out here doing all kinds of bumper fuck. You dig it? Ain't got a nerve to be mad that I'm aggressively righteous. Y'all fuck y'all up with the word. Make you feel the way. Get you off your ass. Out that church on Sundays, cause y'all some fuck niggas. It don't matter what y'all age is. I'm talking to your souls. You motherfuckers in develop awards just cause you been here long. You ain't got it right, you old fucks. I have no respect for the elders. Cause y'all created that fucking term. It's a term that don't mean shit. Like your sacrifices without the potty to back it up. Y'all ain't shit. Y'all minors. You fucking babies has been here forever. <laughs> Shout out to Munch with <laughs> What the fuck that Action Bronson call them? Old face babies. That's what the fuck y'all are. Still nursing off the titty of the white man. And you know who I mean when I say white man, right? Every fucking move he make. Yeah, we this, we that. You ain't shit. You out here with a mask on your face right now because you scared. You bastard scared. I'm not even friends with some of y'all now because y'all wear masks. Ain't never going to be friends with no fucking cows. How could y'all free y'all kids? You don't know shit. You just got in line. They said, you going to die. You going to catch this shit. And you went right along with it. Some of y'all got the best jobs in the world going right along with that shit. Some of your favorite celebrities going right along with that shit. Ain't nobody standing up on nothing. Y'all niggas fucked up. And that's why the most I fuck y'all up. That's what it is. You ain't going to be happy. You not. Your husband going to cheat on you. Gonna, your wife going to cheat. Something going to happen to you dumb fucks. Not to me, though. And that ain't arrogant. That's the promise of God. Like, be mad at it that I'm that confident that the creator is real. I ain't talking about nothing that Evan can do, asshole. I like talking like this. Feel good. It's my therapy, I told you. Y'all out shooting drugs, shooting people, stealing and shit. You mad that I'm aggressively talking about God? I'll punch your ass in the fucking mouth. Told you it's my therapy. You mad about the word of God, but you'll watch all that other shit faithfully. All that drama and shit. Sit glued to it. I talk that shit about the most high. You offended? Fuck you. Be offended. Nigga, don't come here no more. It ain't for you. This the separation of the Lord. Assholes and ass eaters alike. And that's the word. In 1095, Pope Urban II proclaimed the first crusade at the Council of Claremont, he encouraged military support for Byzantine Emperor Alexio against the Seleuic Turks. The Turks were Muslim. They were Muslim. You know what Turks look like? You know what their skin look like? Um, Enos Cantor, that plays professional basketball, kind of had a run-in with LeBron James. Enos Cantor. He a Turk. He Turkish. They look like white people, right? They keep Islam. The purest order, right? Mastering yourself. And you do that by Torah. Now, men are men. So it don't matter if they were Muslims or not. Don't make them all righteous. At, at the heart of men is where it lies at. So some of them were Muslim. Just Muslim. Like, that's who they are. You, you're not religiously a Muslim in any place but America. That's when it's a religion. The rest of the places, cultures, just how they, you don't have to say that. That's who they are. It's who they are. That's who they always been. They've been living off that word, that book, pretty much. They practice it. It's a daily lifestyle. I wear my kippah, right? I keep Torah. And I found out about the kippah, like, yarmulke Jew style, right? I see Muslims wearing the hats, but I wasn't into being a Muslim. That wasn't 
my thing other than the machismo that came with it, right? But I never, I never, it just wasn't my thing. And now I see, I see when you practice Islam, you get a different response from people, you know? Um, and I do wear my kippah, and people confuse it for Muslim garb, and it's okay. It's not like it's offensive. I understand what they're saying, but I get a read from people differently. When they perceive me as a Muslim, then I'm just air with glasses and a hat. When I have my kippah on, as people, the the Jews in my community, they speak and acknowledge me, and the Muslims as well. So this shit between the Jews and the Muslims, I know exactly what it is. It's a group of people that that moved around, that wasn't with those other white people, but they wasn't honorable people at the end. The, the Jews, who you call yourselves, you're not the original people of the scripts, and you weren't the people that God was talking about at all. What you did is you took advantage of, a, of, of beating people. You know, that's what you did, and that's pretty much it. And there's no reason for me to lie. You can call it anti-Semitic and try to hide. I ain't going nowhere. You know, you can call me anti-Semite. We can take it to court. You dig it. And all your words and your documents, they mean the same as mine. My character is what? Based on my life? Look at my life. Arrest. How many? I've been arrested one time for standing up for my rights, for standing up to the Roman Empire. The fucking stormtroopers that came out to try to demand a tribute for me for moving around on the land that the Most High created. I know how to word this shit. They don't get the word my life. I get the word. And I'm moving around on the land that my God created. And some men in some uniforms come up to me talking about I owe because there's no reason I owe. I haven't transgressed another person on earth. It's really that simple. They keep telling you that it's chess, chess, chess. It is not. It's as simple as the power source. Does any other man on this planet have power over you? And some could, and it would be because you transgressed them, so you owe back. That's your debt to him and society. If you haven't crossed another person living, breathing, it's a lie. Y'all won't stand on it. That's God. And that's how I know y'all don't believe in God. You still paying the taxes. The fight ain't in you to take the freedom back. So God ain't going to fight for you. Y'all can talk all that shit. You might even land a job here or there. He not with you. That's by chance, and your day is coming. You know what I'm saying? So I'm about to get out here, y'all. It is 5.03. Woke up early today because my metabolism is flying. I was like I was swimming. I woke up in a puddle. You know what I mean? Like, did I piss in this motherfucker? Had to wake up, soak, woke Munch up. Sorry, Munch. But yeah, y'all. So I'm going to get out of here. I just ate my two boiled eggs, drank my tea, and get a cup of coffee. Peace. Shalom.